if you have a list that you want to flip vertically and horizontally. You can do that by using functions. However, magical solutions don't need to be complicated. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you a nice power query trick to reverse a list up and down and right and left. You can watch my tutorial where I solve the same issue by using functions. The link is in the description below this video. Now let's have some fun with this power query trick. Here is my source data. I want to flip this list vertically and horizontally so that the value in the upper left will be in the lower right and the value in the lower left will be in the upper right. And I'm going to use Power Query to do that. I start by right-clicking on one of the values. From the right-click menu, I select Get Data from Table Range. I confirm the conversion of my list into a table. I hit OK. The Query Editor opens on top of Excel. I can change the query name. I'll make it Reversed. I hit enter. I can zoom in. Control Shift Plus to zoom in. And I start by reversing the records vertically. We have an option to do that on the Transform tab of the ribbon. So when I click on the Transform tab, I click on Reverse Rows. Kyle in row number 15 will move to row number 1, and all the records will be switched accordingly. I click on Reverse Rows, and here I have Kyle in the first record. We do not have a direct option to reverse column, but look at this very simple trick. What if I select the last field, Monday? I press and keep holding down the Shift key and I select Friday. Now I have all the records selected. So if I click and drag the first record to the right, to the end, like this, when I release, I would have achieved the desired result. I would have flipped vertically, then flipped horizontally. Now I want to send my data back to Excel. I click on the Home tab. I click on the down arrow for Close and Load. Select Close and Load 2. I want to put my data in the same worksheet. I select the existing worksheet. I select the destination cell, which is cell H2, and then I hit OK. Et voila. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I flip my data in two directions. If more records are added to the source, I just refresh my query. If you like this tip, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.